Oh, copper sulfate crystals. Aren't they beautiful? In this practical experiment, we are going to make crystals of copper sulfate and see how the crystallization can be used as a separation technique. For this, you will be needing copper oxide and 2 molar sulfuric acid. So first, the Bunsen burner is lit and then we are going to heat the sulfuric acid. 40 ml measure of dilute sulfuric acid 2 mole per dm cube can be taken for this experiment. So here my students have taken 40 ml of the acid and they are going to heat it to a temperature of 60 degree centigrade. So when the temperature reaches 60 degrees, the flame can be put off and the beaker can be brought down onto the heat proof mat. Now into the hot acid, copper oxide is added one spatula measure at a time with constant stirring. So when you add the one spatula, it will tend to dissolve completely. Then you got to add the next spatula and keep on stirring. And this process you got to continue till no more of the copper oxide is soluble in sulfuric acid. So when the stage reaches where no more copper oxide is reacting with sulfuric acid, that is the point where all the sulfuric acid has reacted with copper oxide to form copper sulfate. So in effect you are going to prepare a saturated solution of copper sulfate by this method. So at a higher temperature you are able to dissolve more copper oxide or you can react copper oxide with sulfuric acid better at a higher temperature. So when no more of the copper oxide is soluble we have created a saturated solution of copper sulfate and then it has to be filtered through a filter paper. So the filter paper is moistened and kept in the funnel ready to be filtered once the saturated solution is made. The funnel is on a conical flask for collection of the filtrate. Now using the glass rod, the filtrate 
the solution is transferred into the filter paper so you are getting a clear blue solution in the conical flask which is that of copper sulfate the excess copper oxide will be remaining in the filter paper as residue so another separation technique here filtration where you are separating the solid which is insoluble from the liquid which has the dissolved solution or salt in the solution bear in mind the the filtrate collected in the conical flask is a saturated solution of copper sulfate now once the filtration is complete the filtrate is transferred into an evaporating basin to concentrate the filtrate further So here we are transferring the filtrate into the evaporating basin and we will be heating it again and concentrating it to half the volume. The hole of the Bunsen burner is closed so the flame now is non-luminous once the hole is open and we continue the heating process to evaporate the solution to half the volume. Once the solution has concentrated to half its volume, we can pour this in a petri dish and leave it for crystallization. Crystallization is a slow process and it will take some hours before you can see the crystals being formed. But the crystals will form as the solution evaporates and you can get the dried crystals of copper sulfate. So you can see the crystallization happening there, crystals are being formed, beautiful crystals isn't it, of various sizes. So if you like this video please subscribe to my channel. If you found value in this experiment, please press this like button and subscribe to my channel.